Hello there, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a strange few days. I had a strange weekend, strange... Yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. That was strange. <laughs> um, it's just, I had a plan in mind for how I wanted my video to go this week, and um, that plan did not go well. So I have all this random footage that I just do not know how to piece together. So I thought to myself, I'm just gonna have to just talk to the camera and make a commentary to piece all my random video clips together um, because nothing happened according to plan. My son's grandma came this past weekend, which is wonderful, it always is. He was very happy, as he usually is. Our big plan was to go to the Dallas Arboretum. Well, Saturday morning, uh, my son came in to talk to me, to wake me up. <laughs> and um, I was laying on my side like I normally do. And I lifted my head and turned it while still, while still lying on my side in some sort of weird way. And I could feel immediately this pull that I did that extended way down into my shoulder and I knew immediately that I had done something really bad and when I got up the pain just like shot through my neck and down my back and I could not completely turn my head this way I still have some pain doing that but nothing like what it was it felt like I had a ball of a uh, big ball of tight muscle that just was all cramped and wouldn't let my neck go, if that makes any sense. And it was incredibly painful. I've had torticollis before on this side where I couldn't turn this way. And um, that time was so bad and so severe and so scary that I actually went to the ER because that was the first time that had ever happened to me. Well, this felt kind of similar, only it was... Um, clearly a muscle thing that I had done to myself and um, so that threw our Saturday plans out of the water um, and my husband and my mother-in-law and my son just went out and did shopping and did things without me and I was able to lay flat the entire day which is why I probably recovered so quickly um, that and I took some Calm. It's a calcium magnesium that uh, helps to also relax muscles and stuff. I usually don't get enough magnesium, so it's probably why it works so well for me. Sunday was a lot better. Wasn't great, but it was better. I, I thought to myself, I could do this. I could do something today without doing too much damage to myself. We are on our way to pick up Conrad's grandma, and we're headed to church, and then from church, we're gonna go to the Arboretum today. So, we're very excited, aren't we, Conrad? Yeah. Yeah, that's the second day the Arboretum did not happen. <laughs> You want to try this one? Yes. Oh, I hate it. I do that. I like to do that. Huh? I like to do that. I'm taking a video of you two because you're so cute. So my brother was in town, my, my oldest brother, Bruce, and I actually have not seen him in person since um, 2007, and that's a long time. So he has never met my husband, I mean, except through phone call, um, that sort of thing. Never met him in person, never met my son uh, in person. So he was up here in Texas for his son's basketball game. He and his family actually drove here from Miami, Florida. A brutal, brutal trip for all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Brother Bruce. Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> Is that America? We just had time to do a little bit of shopping um, before um, before her flight. That morning we could have tried to go to the Arboretum, but it decided to rain all day on Monday, so um, that didn't happen either. Then Tuesday, um, which was yesterday, was my birthday, and it's usually the day where I usually publish my vlogs, but um, I wanted to have a day where I wasn't, you know, working on stuff. So I didn't publish a video yesterday. But it was an odd day. It was a very odd day. I did get to paint, um, which is very nice. I was able to do that one evening, which is probably why I hurt my neck the next day because I went to bed so late. I don't know. I don't know why I hurt my neck. I don't know why it happened. It just happened. Um, but, um, it was nice to be able to paint and not be too tired to do that. And, um, yeah, so, anyways, we survived, we are alive another day, praise be to God, and that is something to be thankful for always, each and every day. Still got a lot of work to do on it, but gotten started. So I'm going to end with a Bible verse. Keep your lives free of the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13, 5. I keep this on my wall because I need to be reminded of that often. Because the idea of financial security, of wealth, has always been something I've wanted and um, I think um, materialism is just just a big part of, of, um, of life um, especially in the time that we live in um, so much is pushed at us uh, gadgets clothes items different things for us to have and sometimes those things make us feel good and I can see, for me, why that line can be blurred sometimes of, of loving what money can do. So that's a prayer of mine, that I would be satisfied with what I have and rest assured that God will provide. And it says in his word here that he will never leave us or abandon us. Uh, he cares for us, even more so than the beautiful birds and the trees. And... Um, that gives me uh, hope. And uh, sometimes I need to hear this verse. All right, well, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Love you.